if ME is the mass of the Earth and R is the radius of the Earth, from Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force of attraction F on an object of mass M on the surface of the Earth is F equals G M E M over R square, where G is the universal gravitational constant. Equating the weight of the object and the gravitational force of attraction between the Earth and the object, we get the expression for the acceleration due to gravity G. Comparing equation 1 and equation 2, we can deduce that the value of acceleration due to gravity is equal to the value of the gravitational field strength. Therefore, small g equals g m e over r square. So what is the gravitational due to the gravity? There is the acceleration of an object falling freely in the gravitational field. That means not only free fall, Okay, easiest we said that before that we learned that it's a free fall, right? So falling free in the gravitational field. All bodies, irrespective of their masses in a gravitational field, experience the same gravitational force per unit mass and the same acceleration due to gravity. From the definition of the weight as gravitational force, small g equals g m e over r square from definition gravitational field strength equals gravitational force over mass which equals g m e m over r square times 1 over m which implies small g equals g m e over r square so from here we notice that the gravitational field strength is the gravitational force over mass over the mass so gravitational force is equal to g m e over m m e is the mass of the earth okay or sometimes they use the formula like that if they use that uh sometimes they didn't mention which one so ladies and gentlemen once we notice the formula f equal to g m capital m with small m over a square okay so m normally bigger than the m okay which object with greater mass represent by big m capital m if r sometimes this r e will be the Earth's radius. Or they use R, same with the Earth's radius. If use R, actually is distant between two objects. But mostly we need to uh, go through the question. But generally, the equation used. R or RE, big one, the capital one, is for the Earth's radius. Okay? So Earth's radius will be a constant. Don't worry, this constant will be given in the exam. So from here, we notice that the uh, gravitational field strength the gravitational field strength at the end we get that is equal to g e g small g is the gravitational field strength equal to the constant of universal gravitation times with the m e over r square so g is equal to capital g m e over the r r is the Earth's radius square this means that the gravitational force, no matter how, the gravitational field strength depends only depends on the mass of the earth 
only depends on the radius of the earth. Okay, so this means mass and radius of the earth. We get that. This means that no matter how, if this is the earth, we put any object, okay, the small object or big object or tiny object. As long as, let's say this is 1 kg, this one is 500 kg, and this one is 1 times 10 the power 5 kg, for example, no matter how, all of them not depends not depends on the mass of the object not dependent but the gravitational field strength is depend on the uh, depends on its mass depends on re re what is that let's say re is from the center of the earth to the surface of the earth. So this will be the radius of earth. That's all. Okay, remember, yeah? Do you know what is the mass of the earth and how it can be determined? How the mass can be determined? How we know that the mass is such as how many kg? Is it any balance to make sure it? Impossible. Okay, impossible, we put the mass to make sure, right? So scientists, they have, uh, they have their method to make sure it. So how to make sure? The mass of the earth, Me, can be calculated using the relationship between small g and g as shown small g equals g m e over r square m e equals small g r square over g which equals 9.81 times 6.4 times 10 to the power 6 to the power 2 over 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 which equals 6.02 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms, where radius of the earth r equals 6.40 times 10 to the power 6 meters. Small g equals 9.81 meter per second square on the earth's surface, and g equals 6.67 times 10 to the power negative 11 newton meter square per kilogram square. So that means that the mass of the earth actually is come from the calculation. The scientists calculate. So here, G, G and Me and R. Okay, this one from the gra uh, gravitational force. Universal gravitational, Newton's gravita uh, universal gravitational force. Okay, so the experiment just now, okay, in activity one, I show you how the scientists derive the formula. After that, the 9.81 actually can calculate from the, uh, what's that, the acceleration of the, of a falling object. So any object falling, get the acceleration, then times with the R squared radius of the earth, and also the, uh, divide by the g. So we get that it will be 6.02 times 10 the power 24 kg. Normally, this value will be given in the exam question. From the calculated value of the mass of the earth, it is possible to calculate the mean density rho of the earth. So it can also use, okay, calculate rho equal to Density, what is the density? Density is rho over mv. Rho is equal to m over v. We can use this formula to calculate it. Assuming the Earth to be a perfect sphere, we can calculate the mean density rho of the Earth. 
Rho equals Me over V, where V is the volume of the Earth, which equals 4 over 3 times pi R to the power 3. Therefore, Rho equals 6.02 times 10 to the power 24 over 4 over 3 times 3.14 times 6.40 times 10 to the power 6 to the power 3, which equals 5.48 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. So this is the density of the... In 1997, the Malaysian flag was planted on the top of Mount Everest by the Malaysian team. Thus, the value of acceleration due to gravity g on the top of the mountain differ from that at sea level. Okay, so in 1997, that is the first Malaysian, okay, uh, planted Malaysian flag on the Mount Everest. But until now, a lot of people, more than more than one people already, more than one Malaysian planted the flag. Okay, so even my school flag also planted on the Mount Everest before because my school student, okay, I think it's three, three years ago. Okay, there's one of the students, okay, uh, successfully climbed until the top of the Mount Everest. And he planned not only Malaysia flag, Malaysian, Malaysian flag there, but also SMK Tase Utara flag there. Okay, so plug to be plug to this uh, student. Okay, next. Yes, the acceleration due to gravity G varies with the height from the sea level. So this means the higher the uh, the higher the distance. The higher the position of us, the smaller the gravitational field strength. Let an object of mass m be at a distance h from the surface of the Earth. If r is the radius of the Earth, then the distance between the object and the center of the Earth is small r equals r plus h. So this means that r. It's a distance, right? Total distance between the two objects. The object is put above the earth. So this will be the height. And from here to here, this will be the radius. Radius r, the small r is equal to the radius times with the hash. So r is equal to distance is equal to radius of the earth plus with the height of the object. Applying Newton's law of gravitation, the gravitational force of attraction F on the object can be given as F equals GME M over R square. Weight of the object F equals M times G prime, where G prime is the acceleration due to gravity at a distance small r, which equals r plus h. Equating equations 1 and 2, we get GME M over R square equals M times G prime, which implies G prime equals GME over R square. Okay, so just now we learned before. Okay, if the object is at, at just now we learned that it's at the uh, Y step at the surface of the. Okay. If the object at the surface of the earth, G is equal to capital G, M, E over R. What is the R? This will be the R, E, right? This will be R, E, what we learned before just now. If the object is at certain height, okay, actually this comes from, what is the formula? The formula is G equal to G, M, over r okay r square so here we also don't forget there is a square sorry so here 
This one, I also use general G equal to G M over R squared. But here, it will be G equal to capital G M E over this, if this is the hash, yeah? So actually the R. R distance will be equal to R E plus hash. So if this is the G1, this is G2, that means that G1 will be greater than G2. So because R E plus hash square, okay? Don't forget the square. So that means that this G1, okay, will greater than G2 because R divided by a smaller value, okay? So, uh, okay, Chong Hong Meng, okay, pergi, okay, uh, Chong Hong Meng, leave group because Chong Hong Meng not pergi, ambil vaccine. Okay, thank you, Hong Meng. Thanks for attend class. Okay, next, we go through the, we move through the slide. Mount Everest is 8,848 meters above sea level. Calculate G at this height. Given that the mean G on the surface of the earth is 9.81 meter per second square and the mean radius of the earth is 6.37 times 10 to the power 6 meters. Solution. On the surface of the earth at sea level, Small g equals g m e over r square at a height h which equals 8848 meters small g prime equals g m e over r plus h to the whole power 2 dividing equation 2 by equation 1 we get g prime over g equals r square over r plus h the whole thing square G prime equals R square over R plus H the whole thing square times G, which equals 6.37 times 10 to the power 6 to the power 2 over 6.37 times 10 to the power 6 plus 8,848 to the whole thing square times 9.81, which equals 9.78 meter per second square. So just now it's 9.81, right? On the surface of the earth is 9.81. Now on the top of the Mount Everest with the height of at, at 4 at 8080 and 8848 meter height. So the gravitational field strength at the top of the Mount Everest is 9.7 at ms negative 2 only. That means reduce a bit. Summary. The relationship between small g and g is given as small g equals g m e over r square, where small g is the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth's surface. G is the universal gravitational constant, Me is the mass of the Earth, and R is the radius of the Earth. Mass of the Earth, Me, is 6.02 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. Mean density of the Earth, Rho, is 5.48 times 10 to the power 3 kilogram per meter cube. How does the value of acceleration due to gravity vary with depth below the Earth's surface? What will happen just now? We learn on the surface of the Earth first. After that, uh, above the surface of the Earth, right? Now, what happens if e less than the surface of the Earth, less than the radius? The variation of acceleration due to gravity g below the surface of the earth can be explained as follows if r equals radius of the earth and rho equals mean density of the earth 
the mass of the earth Me equals 4 over 3 times pi r cubed times rho. On the surface of the earth, small g equals g Me over r square, which equals g times 4 over 3 times pi r cubed rho over r square, which equals 4 over 3 times pi r rho g. At a distance small r, less than r from the center of the earth, effective mass of earth Me prime equals 4 over 3 times pi r cube rho. Below the surface of the earth, g prime equals g Me prime over r square, which equals g times 4 over 3 times pi r cube rho over r square, which equals 4 over 3 times pi r rho g. So compare. Comparing g and g prime, we get g prime equals small r over r times g. So from here, if less than the gravitational right, uh, sorry, if the distance less than the radius of the earth, we use this. Okay, g prime is the r over the distance, yeah, distance of the object, exact object under the ground, divide by the radius of the earth times with the g, the gravitational field strength of the earth on surface of the earth, okay? The variation of acceleration due to gravity with the distance r from the center of the earth is as shown by the graph. For small r, less than r, g is directly proportional to small r. For small r greater than r, g is inversely proportional to small r square. Okay, so if the r is greater than r, is the distance greater than r, that means this is from here to the surface of the earth, yeah? After that, more than that, that means certain height. So if certain height, that means that the g will reduce exponentially because g is directly proportional, is inversely proportional to r squared. But if the r is less than any point of the, uh, less than the surface of the earth. So g is directly proportional to r. So easiest, we set that. Gravitational field strength, gravitational field strength, just first g equal to maximum when at surface of earth, where the r equal to r e. Okay, g reduce okay exponentially okay this means that when r is e greater than r e this part okay then g reduce linearly okay when r is less than the r e so here what is the formula we use g is equal to okay capital g m e over r e plus hash square exactly at the top of the, at the surface of the earth, what will be the formula? It will be G equal to capital G 
M E over R E squared. Okay. For any point less than that, so the G will be equal to the point over the R E, the ratio times with the G on surface. Okay, so this means this times with the G of the surface. So from here, okay, kalau nak masukkan, if you want to put in, this means that you can put the this G at the surface into the formula and solve it. Okay, remember. So the important is remember the graph less than the uh, radius of the earth. So the gravitational field strength is directly proportional to the distance. But it's reduced exponentially when the, uh, after the surface of the earth. And always remember, gravitational field strength is maximum, which is 9.81 ms negative 2 at the surface of the earth. Let's move on. Does the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth depend on the location of the place? How does the value of acceleration due to gravity at the pole differ from that at Kuala Lumpur? So, uh, Malaysia is located near to the earth, uh, what's that, the, the, the Katulistiwa, right? Okay, so how about the North Pole and South Pole? As we know that the earth is not a perfect round object okay so it's slightly in the shape of oval but when we solve the problem if they didn't mention they didn't mention about this we assume that it's a perfect round object right perfect sphere but now actually it's not a perfect sphere it's slightly over so this means that the radius will be difference yes the value of acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth depends on the location of the place. The acceleration due to gravity is greater at the North Pole than at Kuala Lumpur. One of the reasons being that the earth is not a perfect sphere. The distance of North Pole from the center of the earth is smaller compared to the distance of Kuala Lumpur from the center of the Earth. At the North Pole, acceleration due to gravity g may be calculated as shown above. Small g equals gme over rp square, where rp is the distance of the North Pole from the center of the Earth. At the equator, Acceleration due to gravity G prime is as shown above. G prime equals G M E over R E square, where R E is the distance of the equator from the center of the Earth. Since R P is less than R E, G at the poles is greater than G prime at the equator. Another reason for the variation in acceleration due to gravity G with the latitude of a place on the surface of the Earth is the rotation of the Earth about its axis. Consider a body of mass m at a place p on latitude theta on the surface of the Earth. The gravitational force of attraction of the Earth on the body can be resolved into two components. So you see, if an object near point p Another object at Katulistiwa. So this means that the circumference, the distance, okay, the, in the circular motion, the distance move will be slightly different because the radius difference, okay, the distance. 
One of the components provides the centripetal force which enables the body to rotate together with the earth. The other component causes the body to accelerate with an acceleration g prime, which is the acceleration due to gravity at latitude theta. Using the cosine rule, we get mg prime the whole thing square equals mg the whole thing square plus m times r cos theta times omega square the whole thing square minus 2 times mg times m times r cos theta times omega square times cos theta at the poles theta equals 90 degrees g prime square equals g square which implies g prime equals g at the equator theta equals 0 degree g prime square equals g square plus r square times omega to the power 4 minus 2 g r omega square which equals g minus r times omega square the whole thing square therefore g prime equals g minus r times omega square so this means that we notice that at Kutub Utara, at the pole, G is exactly G, 9.81. But this one, 9.81 minus something, this means that at the equator, the G was slightly smaller a bit. Summary. The value of G at a height H is given by G prime equals R over R plus H, the whole thing square times g where r is the radius of the earth and g is the acceleration due to gravity on the surface of the earth for small r less than r g prime equals small r over r times g where small r is the distance from the center of the earth the value of g is maximum at the poles the value of g is minimum for places on the equator Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is the, that's other lesson for today.